practices. Only on News 4, a man's swollen eyes tell the story of a revolving door of crime. And this victim says the same suspect keeps getting away. Tonight, Only News 4's Ashley Lincoln is fighting to get his family's frustrations addressed. She joins us live from police headquarters. And Ashley, this has been an ongoing battle. That's right, Corey. Right now, I can tell you that police are looking for that 34 year old suspect. Now, the victim's sister telling me that she's tried on multiple times to get this man arrested. She feels that had her complaint back in 2019 been investigated fully, this would have not happened again. She says now her brother is bruised and scarred from this incident. Bruised, black and blue, but now healing. 71-year-old Lee Smith is coming off another brush with a bad neighbor. He got one more time to touch my brother. Lee's sister, Mary Norwood, says her mentally challenged brother continues to be the target of a neighbor who beats him for his money. Have you heard the saying violated because there's no reason? I've never done nothing to him. I've never taken nothing from him. With no arrest, Norwood is beyond frustrated with St. Louis police. It not only hurts my heart, but it makes me see red. When I see this and the police won't help, I've been begging them for two years. Last year, News 4 reported on the issues Lee Smith was facing. The family says a neighbor in his housing complex on Union Boulevard started assaulting and then robbing Lee, even getting into the man's accounts. Norwood says things have only become worse, and she's closed her brother's bank account. And police... They've never done anything. This guy has got my brother for about 5000 from the banking, and I'm pretty sure he got the $1,200 stimulus check. In 2019, St. Louis police told News 4 they did not have enough evidence to make an arrest, despite Norwood saying she gave officers evidence of fraudulent transactions. They had paid their internet bill. They had, there was all kinds of evidence. This most recent incident ended violently, sending Smith to the hospital. I want the police to get this thug off the street. Norwood is also dealing with the trauma of her grandson being killed. Last summer, the seven-year-old was shot and killed while playing outside with family. The man arrested in the crime connected to the shooting has never been charged, despite confessing to firing the fatal shot. I like to trust the police. I like to trust them. But lately, I've kind of lost confidence. And again, we did reach out to police regarding this recent incident. Police telling us that this suspect did break into Smith's home before assaulting and robbing him. Again, police telling us tonight that they are looking for that 34 year old man. And if they arrest him, it'll be up to the circuit attorney's office to bring charges in this case. Live tonight in downtown Ashley Lincoln News 4.